Welcome to Week in Review, everybody. And I'll tell you, I am, I am very excited and I'm, I'm inspired and I want to inspire you. We're talking about a new 21-point contract with America so that we can clean house and capture Congress. I'm talking of traditional conservatives taking back that which we once had. And you know, in 1994, Newt Gingrich, who was Speaker of the House, he learned from Ronald Reagan's State of the Union, took points, agenda items, and points given by the Heritage Foundation, and then he put together a contract with America. And the points were specific. No vagary, no ambiguity. He did what, you know, God told Habakkuk. He said, write the vision, make it plain so those that read it can run with it. And that's what we're saying. Republicans that are, are uncompromising and they're bold and courageous need to put down the specific agenda items and say, you give us the House and the Senate, this is what we promise we are going to do. It's a new contract with America. Now, if you missed some of the previous Week in Reviews, or if you haven't read it, you can go on the platform. Just Google the new contract with America, and you'll see the points that I've already covered. But I need to get on with it because there's some more points that we want to specifically highlight. Here's one. How about this one? Number 11, defund the proposed, what, 87,000 new IRS agents. No, we're saying that needs to go. Defund that. Number, number uh, 12, repeal, yes, the, you know, the consti unconstitutional and unilateral student loan giveaway. That needs to be repealed. Now, there's people rejoicing, saying, hey, that's good, man. I spent money. I went on vacations. I, 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 I bought my big screen TVs and did all that. And now <laughs> Biden say, I'm going to get 20,000 bucks. Folks, I have a son that went to Harvard, uh, Kennedy School of Government. And you know what? He worked for 10 years to pay off his. And is that fair? No, we're saying right now that needs to be right now repealed, that student loan giveaway. How about this one? Number 14, bring to an end COVID-related mandates and government control over our individual health. No more of this stuff. My buddy out in California, Cheyenne, he took Gavin Newsom to the Supreme Court when he was saying, oh, no, you know, churches can't meet and small this and that. But boy, you know, crazy, uh, abortion clinics and uh, uh, marijuana dispensaries and strip drug, they're, they're essential, but not churches. No, we need to make sure that we don't go down this path again. And if we're in, in the control of the House and the Senate, we can pass those kind of legislative initiatives. How about number 15? Halt all federal, listen to this, co coerce, coercion involving LGBTQ and CRT indoctrination in schools, in government agencies, in military and business, and the attempts to secure transgender taxpayer funded mandates and mutilation of children without parental involvement. It's time. Number 16 point is this, defund Planned Parenthood and deputize the Department of Health, Education and Welfare to raise awareness of saving lives. That's what happens when they have campaigns that say, you know, suicide prevention and drunk driving and smoking. Well, the same thing should be done when we say late term abortions. Imagine taking a, a syringe and sticking it in, in the back of a, uh, of a child and sucking out the brains. I'm not trying to be gross and saying, well, that's just, you know, a woman's right to her own body. No, we need to educate people what's really going on. I'd say the next one is simply this. Are you ready? We've got some more points here, and that is number 17, repeal unconstitutional laws abridging the right to bear arms. Every time there's a shooting, mass shooting, whatever it is, it's, oh, we got to pull the guns, we got to stop it, and all that stuff. And, and, you know, we need to say, no, we have our constitutional right, and we're not going to relent in this in any way. We are going to protect ourselves, our families, and our businesses and churches. Number 18 is this. Re, I love this one, require proof of United States citizenship to vote 
in national elections. No more of this phony stuff about, well, you know, there's racism and discrimination when we have uh, prohi prohibitions on, on uh, you know, people voting and they, they, they don't need to show their IDs and we should have voter harvesting. We don't want for surveillance. Folks, you know what's happened in past elections. It's got to be changed with accountability and surveillance and putting in place these laws. I'll tell you, number 19 is this. Initiate a congressional investigation into U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan and the specific monetary and military consequences of the past, what, Biden administration and what took place. $80 billion of military equipment. They're selling it on the market. These are the terrorists that want America destroyed. An investigation should go into this and also brought on the line when the former, what, you, you, you know, our, our president makes the statement that, you know, we will leave no American or any of our allies behind. Well, that was absolutely untrue, that pledge and that vow. Number 20 is this, reevaluate expenditures of trillions of U.S. taxpayer dollars for what? Climate crisis. That's the new term. It's not global warming. That was too mild. They create the crisis. And what was climate change is now climate crisis. And the reason, and this is their justification, we've got a, you know, inflation is going through the roof. Our country is being destroyed, but let's spend more money on climate change, on the windmills and, you know, on electric cars, telling people and all of this stuff. Folks, there is hysteria and fear to promote this. And we should not be, you know, spending money with our debt, $31 trillion, and it's going through the roof. All right, let me give you the last one, number 21. I would say that there should be uh, uh, subpoenas that are issued to guarantee discovery and disclosure of all information that has been suppressed by the Biden administration and media uh, regarding alleged unlawful actions of Hunter Biden, his father, and Hillary Clinton. You say, that's long overdue. You bet it is. Here's the deal. The midterms are almost here. We have an opportunity for a turnaround, but we can't sit back we can't say, well, God's sovereign, or I don't get involved in politics. Folks, this is your life. This is your children. These are your grandchildren, pastors. In Revelation 21, it says the first ones thrown in the lake of fire are those that are fearful and cowardly. We've got to be a shepherd, equip the saints, and let people know vote values with a biblical worldview. It's time. What are the three essentials again? We're saying first and foremost, our politicians, Let's go with this kind of a 21-point new uh, contract with America. And then as Christians, we'll be responsible. And we're committed to the three essentials of what? Committed prayer. Number two, confessing sin. Confess sin. And number three, civic engagement. Salt. Voting. Being informed. Helping others. This is the hour. And I'll tell you this. Something that will have to be considered in the coming days is this. When uh, Mr. Biden came into office, he put his hand on a Bible, and he said that he was going to defend and he was going to protect and preserve the Constitution of the United States. And he was going to be, as commander-in-chief, looking out for the protection of American citizens. Folks, you look at what's happening with the border. No border. The border is just open, and it's a matter of just, come on, walk in. And as a result, we have seen hundreds of thousands of people through drugs, through sex trafficking, through smuggling, through cartels. People have lost their lives, and this has got to stop. And there should be some consideration. Is this something that would, you know, warrant, if this is established by the House and Senate, looking into the actual impeachment of Mr. Biden? This is serious stuff. But it's turnaround time. And I submit to you, we can see this is our opportunity. Let's respond and let's see America say once again, God bless our country because we're doing things that are honest and right. And we're steering clear of the globalists, the Marxists, the socialists, the so-called progressives that want to destroy our country. May God bless America and you and I have a part.